yep, here we are again. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. I go by the name of Solo. Welcome back to Solo Driven. Now, for quite some time, ever since I got the exhaust tips put on this car, I've had a little trouble. Now, when I first got the car, it had the cat back exhaust, but it ended right here at the differential, and I went ahead and completed the nice tips uh, link right here to that video. Ever since then, I've had a little issue with it getting loose. Now, I've tried putting it back on the hangers and it still comes loose for whatever reason. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and take it to a, a, you know, a little mom and pop muffler shop and see if maybe they can resolve the issue. Let's go ahead and waste no time. Let's get a cold start. get some gas now I should mention this is a triple s exhaust system I know that my list is getting in the way of saying that but either way this is a triple s exhaust system I don't know really any Cobra owner that has this exhaust setup so it's more of a on the higher end of the pitch and it's a little bit more raspy uh, I don't have headers on this car I like it for the most part until I hear those boiler stingers and how deep the tone is I like the deeper tone a little better most guys who hear this exhaust they like this exhaust better I guess you know because it, it's you know sounds different from what you typically hear I don't know so though I really want the boiler stingers I really don't want to spend six hundred dollars right now because I'd rather spend that on some motor mods so I think it'd be smarter to just resolve the issue for now so we can spend that $600 on something more tasteful. So yeah, we'll temporarily fix the dangling exhaust and get the boiler later. And we're still breaking into differential, so yeah, no fun. And we are here. So let me elaborate a little bit, uh, uh, you know, with the exhaust issue. When I'm driving, it kind of dangles, it rattles a little bit. I feel the exhaust moving around. I feel that it's loose. It's kind of annoying and kind of messes with the suspension a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I feel it. So that's why I want to eliminate that for now until we move on to the boiler exhaust. I can honestly say I didn't have this issue until I put more weight back here. But once we get it up on the lift, we'll be able to see a little bit more what's going on. So let's get a better look under the car. So I feel the dangling from this side of the exhaust system and the issue seems to be up here. This hangs way too low. It's causing it to scrape on everything. So if you know, if I were to put some headers on there, that would probably resolve the issue. But like I said, I don't really want to do that right now. See how with this one, it doesn't really move too much. It doesn't really move too much when I'm twisting and pulling and tugging on it. But on this side, if I pull and tug on it, you see that you can see that play right here. I'm thinking it'll be a good idea to kind of cut like a quarter of this, bring this elbow up higher and then weld it back together and that'll probably eliminate this thing from hanging so low, but we'll see. I'm not a professional. Man, let me tell you, Latinos will make anything happen. These are chairs made out of literally tires and good ones too. Yeah. Not too bad, actually pretty comfortable. Well, that didn't go as planned, but we'll explain that in a minute. Right now, we're gonna go see a good friend of mine who I haven't seen in a while. He's in town. I'm gonna go show him the car. He's never seen a car in person. We're gonna hook him up with some merch and I'm gonna offer to take him on a ride. He does not do speed racing, any of that. He does not like that. I'm gonna offer him a ride and hopefully he'll have like a funny reaction. Clutch and differential still feel great. Once we break it in, it's go time, boys. 
so here we are yep that's a flat tire I don't know how I'm gonna get this car I'm gonna have to wait for a towing service for a good little minute so I don't know I'm supposed to go see my boy and this freaking thing happens more money wasted you know what's crazy is that I have a nail on this tire right there but this one is holding air and that one no issue and went completely flat my brother Chris Lee, aka Tooney from good, United bro? Destiny Entertainment, What's my good brother. You, What's good? It's so good to see you. He's in town. If y'all don't know, this is my brother. We used to do music together, and he has a YouTube channel where he shows all type of production. Matter of fact, run it down for him real quick one time. Well, check this out. I'm here in San Antonio. I'm with my. I don't know if I can say that on the channel, <laughs> but this is my brother. I haven't been home in a long time. I moved to Arizona. I'm a business owner now. Uh, United Destiny Entertainment. If you don't know me, check my channel out. Uh, it consists of audio, video, photography, graphics. I do a lot of tutorials online. So yeah, I'm down here chilling with my boy. We out here in the parking lot right now. Uh, we were supposed to go do some things. He ended up getting a flat. But you know what? We out here. We making it happen. We gonna get this car taken care of. And I'm let me tell you. Let me ask you though. This is your first time seeing the car in person. What are your initial thoughts? Right, on right the off car? the back, like hands down. Ever since I've known him since day one, he's always been like this, I want to say car freak. Like he will go bust his ass and pay so much money to make his cars, you know, lit and legit. Come into Arizona, come visit. We're supposed to be working on albums, doing music. We'll knock out music. Next thing you know, he's like, dog, I'm about to buy a car. You know, he's he like about to buy a car. That's right. I mean, honestly, at, at this point, just to see him grow, see his channel grow, the car, I'm completely blown away from it. Thank and it's you, not because he's my homie. It's not, you know, because he's my brother or anything like that. Every time I look on social media or something, George is like adding something. You know, he's adding <laughs> something to his car. Something new, about to change this out, change that out. So I feel like overall the car is hella dope. I think it's amazing that he's able to transform something like that, uh, you know, in such a short amount of time. And honestly, I'm, I can't wait to see what he's gonna do with the car next. I can't wait to see the next car. You know, he might post something on the channel again. It's what he's about, you know. Speaking so of that, I, since I it's solo driven, I got you some fresh, oh, fresh, fresh merch. Bro. We got the military green and we got the reflective bro. black. Bro, I truly silver. appreciate this, man. Like, you already know. If you have any homies, friends, family, it don't matter who they are, like, real shit support them like Real you time. have any friends family out here starting businesses or doing whatever support them support their channel support their movement i truly appreciate this like for him even blessing me with this man like man i've been no, looking for you, this bro. man you thank already you know this, we're bro. brothers we're solo driven baby what's up instead of one step closer to 800 we are now one step closer home Yep, here we are again. Don't be that guy in the comment section. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, that's not good. That can't be good. Sacrifices, sacrifices. We're good, baby, we're good. We just need to get over this little hump. The life and sacrifices of the low light. Here we go, baby. Alright, the cover's loaded. Get this bad boy home. So yeah, it's been a very disappointing day. We're gonna pick up where we left off tomorrow. Well, it's the next day. I already got the car and tire off and check this out. Yeah, that's not good. So what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take that tire to the tire shop and they're gonna give me a credit based on how much thread is left. And I'm gonna have to order this tire, of course, because they don't carry those type of tires in stock. And whoa, it is humid. So as I was saying, they don't carry that type of tire in stock. So they only have one left in Austin and I'm trying to get that ASAP. I'm tired as heck. I'm gonna load it up, get this all taken care of. I'm not gonna film it, I'm not gonna record it and we'll just pick up when I get the new tire. So 
See you on a bit. Bam, two days later, we got the new tire. Let's go ahead and mount it up. I checked the other tire, the other tire is good. And we got this bad boy of a beast bike right here. What is it called again? La Fonda. Let me know what we got here, man. Oh, this, we got this is my baby. I actually know a little something about this. So <laughs> down to you. This is a 2016 breakout. It has a aftermarket LED lights, intake, exhaust, all the that you need to uh, get on people's nerves when you're on the road, but <laughs> make sure they hear you when you're passing them. You exactly. know, no Safety excuse first. to get run over. Safety first. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of aftermarket engine components. Now, I don't know anything about Harley Davidson's very little about bikes but man this thing is bad in person got the nice wide tire the leds everywhere we just in installed these you mirrors know, right here thank you, you know, crank thank her you up so one time much. crank her up one time thank let us see what we solo thank you solo i appreciate your help <laughs> thanks solo ah, that thing is loud i know in person it's way loud this thing is bad So, probably not my most interesting video uh, on the channel, but let's talk real quick about why I decided not to get the exhaust fixed today or a couple days ago. It turned out to cost $300 to do the repair, and I just did not find that worth it. The Borla exhaust is $600, and that's halfway to $600. So, I'd rather just throw that money into the actual Borla exhaust that I know is going to be a better quality build, and I'm going to be happier with it. So, that's the reason why we didn't get that fixed today. Oh, a couple days ago and you know unfortunately we had that blowout which ended up costing i think it was like 116 bucks which is not too bad but still a little setback you know that money could have went towards something else on the car but these things happen that's just the name of the game in the car world and we're just going to continue being motivated staying driven and moving on with the build but anyways guys that's gonna end today's video if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe smash that like button to support and remember be motivated Shh, i'm trying to tell the people to <laughs> and stay driven